another episode of homeschool for the soul my name is kevin here at real life la and this week we are spotlighting a couple different organizations who are doing good in the community even though the doors of the church may be closed physically uh, lots of good is being done in the community and i'm here today with ed pageant um, who does some great work with sewing seeds for life here in the southern california region and uh we're going to be talking with him today about some of the things that they're doing and getting some insight so ed tell us you know what have you been up to uh since uh, this all began well it hasn't stopped a lot of people aren't working we're working triple time yeah we used to give out food to seven thousand people per month now it's eight nine thousand per day we're doing it once a week the numbers are astounding we had to move our operation from uh laverne over to the fairplex we have the cars come in through gate 17 then they inch down the drag strip and it's amazing we actually run out of food so we we put out enough food for 21 to 2200 people it's just totally amazing the people are in need. People never knew about food banks are now coming to the food bank. Yeah, that's incredible. I, I actually saw on the website, you guys uh, fed uh, over 25,000 people in April. Yes, 25,750. We would have hit 30,000 uh, in May, but we had uh, one of our volunteers was admitted to San Dimas Hospital. He texted me at night and said he had COVID. So I had to notify everyone in charge, and immediately our operation was stopped completely. Following day, we're praying, everyone's praying. Come to find out he has pneumonia. He didn't have COVID. Poor guy, they gave him three tests. He told me it really hurt because they stuck the Q-tip all the way up his nose. They swab on one side and move it to the other side. He said, very painful. He never wants to get a test like that again. Yeah. Well, but you guys are doing some incredible work. I mean, that's some serious numbers. That's a lot of people are coming out and needing help, needing some food. And uh, you guys are there on the front lines helping to support that. Um, what do you think are some of the biggest needs that people have had as they've come through to get food? Just the staples. And we're, we're having uh, three stops for each car. So we've got it down to a science where 700 cars per hour come through. But, you know, people need anything you can think of. So we give them a lot of uh, non-perishables. We'll give out meats, produce, fruit, and that's about it. We really can't give out a lot more because it just slows the line down and the cars back up onto uh, McKinley. So we, we caused a SIG alert the very first time we did the, the pantry because the cars backed up all the way onto the freeway, and that's about a mile. There was just so many cars. So working with Fairplex, we've worked it out where we can get the cars flowing. We have them go from two lanes to four lanes. But I wish we could give out more like eggs and milk. We give out milk, but it, there's just a limited amount. The first couple hundred will get milk, then the rest won't. So we try to give everyone something so no one walks away empty-handed. And yeah. we were uh, just giving to Los Angeles County, but now anyone can come. Where do most of your donations come from when they come to, uh, to sowing seeds? It's various places. A lot of uh, foundations give us monthly uh, donations and just people like you and I. I'm doing a fundraiser right now on Facebook, just trying to raise $1,000 because we were required to have uh, portable toilets over by the beginning when the people come in and at the end, and they're, they're pretty costly. Now, uh, you know what's really cool? We have this company named Right Away. It's owned by one of our church members, Steve Osborne. They're working for free for us. Where the Laverne police couldn't do it for free, they wanted $2,000 every time. And I saw that you're uh, just shy of like $700. You've only got a couple hundred dollars more to reach your goal. Wow, I haven't, I haven't looked in two days. 
Thank you. That's very good news. <laughs> yeah. So, if, uh, you know, certainly people, if they're friends with you, can go and donate and, and help you reach that thousand dollar mark for sowing seeds. But, you know, let, let's say, you know, people are listening at home, they're watching this. How can they get involved at, you know, at sowing seeds? Well, come on over at about seven o'clock in the morning through gate 15, which is on Arrow Highway. The gate looks like it's locked. It's, it's open. We have to close it because the clients make a mistake and they want to pull in there. But they want to come in, just have someone open the gate and then pull in and close the gate. And that's on Wednesdays, right? If people want to help, they can come um, on Wednesday mornings? Yes. This Wednesday, we're trying to start earlier because of the heat wave. So it all depends on the police. We've got the Pomona Police Department aiding us over at uh, the entrance. So as soon as they give us the word, they send the cars in. Great. So yeah, people can certainly get involved on Wednesday mornings uh, down at Gate 15 at Pomona Fairplex. Yes. Um, but of course, you know, people, you know, there's food banks and there's there's places all over all over the world that are helping people. Um, you know, people don't live here in Southern California. Right. You know, how 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 can someone maybe get involved in a local food bank where they are? Well, there's a website on Los Angeles Regional Food Bank. It tells you what, where food banks are. You put your zip code in. It'll show you the nearest food banks, and they'll have their address and phone number, and you can call them to see if you want to volunteer, because uh, there's food banks everywhere, but many have closed. The volunteers are all older, they're scared, or they're not getting food. There is a food shortage, so we're having trouble getting food. We have enough food for next month. After that, we don't know. Well, you know, uh, I know a lot of people are asking how they can help, you know, from actually going and volunteering and helping getting people uh, food, you know, directly there to their car. What's been the what's been the coolest thing for you? You know, why did you start volunteering in the first place? How has it changed your life? Well, let me tell you, I'm going to take you way back in time. My grandparents used to take me to Tijuana to an orphanage. We would take clothing and toys. So they kind of like planted the seed. and then. Uh, once I started working at the newspaper, I was volunteering on Skid Row for 40 years. So after I left the newspaper, my next door neighbor invited me to sowing seeds. So I went through as a client and I thought it was pretty cool. So I've been over there about six, six years, four months. I started out just handing out food to people and it just mushroomed. <laughs> now I'm in charge of the operation. Yeah. Well, and certainly, I mean, it does feel good to be able to give back, you know, to people who are in need. It's, it's certainly following in the footsteps of Jesus. Absolutely. You know, the food we get, it's federal food, and we get it for pennies on the pound. But there's rules. We cannot pray around the food. So if someone needs prayer, we go to their car and pray for them. I really yes. appreciate the good work that you guys are doing. And and uh, hopefully this will be an encouragement to other people to get involved in their local food food pantry or you know food distribution center or maybe there at the fairplex with you guys on wednesdays you know everyone's welcome to come they don't have to work they can come over and just observe so you can see what a food bank is like well ed i appreciate your time today and uh hopefully um you know you guys will have a have a good turnout and and be hopefully beat some new records here in may and uh really be out in front of my <laughs> <care> people <laughs> well have a blessed day pastor Good talking to you. Yeah, it's good talking to you.